And what is going on Overemployed Army? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about one of the most important topics in Overemployed History. That's right, I said Overemployed History. I received 1 million calls on burnout. The phenomenon known as burnout. We all deal with it. How do we deal with it? Uh, we're going to get right into that today. Okay guys, so jump right in. So the phenomenon known as burnout. I want to talk about the science background about this first of why this happens to you. And if it does happen to you, how do we deal with this? Studies have shown that burnout is associated with a decrease in dopamine levels in the brain. So what is dopamine? Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that is responsible for pleasure, motivation, and reward. When we engage in activities that we enjoy, our brains release dopamine. It makes us feel good and encourages us to repeat the activity. So us as overemployed individuals, what do we get out of being overemployed? Money, right? You get that offer, the second offer, holy shit, 100k, 100k, 200k, you sign that shit, right? You sign it right away. Two weeks go by, you hit your first paycheck. It's fat, it's massive. Your dopamine levels are going crazy at this point, right? A month goes by, you're seeing your paychecks come in, your bank account balance is going up even higher and higher and higher. Months go by, now you're six months in. Now you don't get the same feeling anymore. Your same paycheck is still coming in, but you're not feeling... The peak of dopamine has already surpassed. That's what's going on here. Now guess what's going to happen. We're going to become depressed. Why? Because work is getting harder. I'm getting the same amount of money. It gets to a point when we take on too much work and overload our brains with stress, the release of dopamine decreases, leading to feelings of apathy, lack of motivation, and fatigue. This can ultimately cause burnout. So what could we do to avoid burnout and get back to your base level of dopamine? The first step is to recognize the signs of burnout and take action to address them. Are you overworking? Are you, if you're supposed to sign out at 4 p.m., are you still working till 8 p.m.? Are you ignoring your loved ones? When your mom calls you, your father calls you, your girlfriend calls you, your son calls you. Sign number three, are you skipping meals? Are you skipping your lunch to work on it more? Right? Are you losing weight? Are you skipping the gym? These are all signs of burnout. So if any of these signs relate to you, one effective method is taking regular breaks and getting outside. Physical activity and exposure to natural light can help to increase dopamine levels and reduce stress. Number two, another helpful technique is mindfulness or meditation. By focusing on the present moment, you can reduce stress and anxiety and increase dopamine levels in the brain. Lastly, it's important to make time for activities that you enjoy. By doing something you love, you can increase dopamine levels and combat the effects of burnout. Whether that's hanging out with your family, right? Playing hockey, playing soccer, playing an instrument, playing the flu, doing any other activity that you like. Do it. And lastly, right? After taking all these points into account, this is the one final thing I want to talk to you guys about. It's important to consider whether your workload is sustainable. If you find that you're constantly overwhelmed and unable to manage your workload, it may be time to consider quitting one of your jobs and finding a better balance. I know it's hard to do, guys. I know you don't want to do it. But really think about it. What? Hypothetically, let's say you're getting paid $70,000, right? And they make you work seven to eight hours a day. Is that really worth it? The extra two to $3,000 a month, is that worth it? In my opinion, what I would do in that case is I would quit that job, right? I would keep the less demanding job out of both of them, quit one of the jobs, and then start finding a second job. And in that time span, fix your shit, right? Go back in the gym, start hitting the gym again, get your diet under control, right? Get in touch with your loved ones and your, your bank account's still growing, but now you want to find a more suitable job to find that balance. Lastly, guys, take care of yourself, prioritize your well-being, and remember that success and happiness are not just about a bigger paycheck, but also about finding fulfillment in your life. If you guys want more advice on how to avoid burnout, how to deal with burnout, and how to land a second, third, fourth, fifth job, Contact me, look at the pinned comment below, book a call with me today, 15 minute call, I'll solve all your problems, I'll bring money to the table, I assure you guys that. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video guys.